let's take a simple example of shooting a basketball through a hoop. Let's say we know the launch angle and we just want to know what the ball speed should be when we release the ball. We want to minimize the distance to get the ball as close to the center of the hoop as possible. So we measure the distance from the center of the ball to the center of the hoop. We just pick what we want to vary, which is the initial velocity, and we'll start at 6 meters per second. In the study variables, we specify the velocity range to evaluate, in this case, anywhere from 6 meters to 8 meters per second at 0.25 intervals. With SOLIDWORKS Premium, you can run a range of values and then manually pick the one that is best that meets your needs. The ball is smaller than the hoop, so we need to account for the possible gap. So the solutions were a distance less than 111 millimeters are all acceptable. Going to a side view clearly shows the path that the ball takes. As the ball speed increases, we finally find a valid solution at 7.25 meters per second. Now you're probably saying there's a better chance of rebounding the ball off the backboard into the hoop. We can check that as well. Just duplicate the study and add a contact between the ball and everything else. On the first iteration, the ball clips the front of the ring and doesn't go in. Then there's two successful iterations where the ball goes straight in. The next two fail with the ball bouncing off the back of the ring and two more go in as the ball rebounds off the backboard. Do you want to calculate how hard you should hit a ball to hit a home run or any other challenges for SOLIDWORKS motion? Comment in the section below. If you have any other questions about this, please contact Javelin Technologies. Okay.